This is a video guide on how to mount and install an inverter of the PowerDoor TR3 series. It is absolutely necessary that you read the printed operating and installation instructions. The warnings and safety instructions which are provided in the operating instructions must be complied with entirely. Please note, the PowerDoor may only be installed by trained and qualified electricians. There are four steps to this installation. You can check the progress on this display. Preparation. The following is required for the installation. The inverter with wall brackets. The accompanying installation kit. In addition, you will need the following materials and tools. A battery operated screwdriver with a bit for Phillips type screws a hammer drill with 10 mm drilling head, a spirit level, and a pencil to mark the drilling holes. When selecting an appropriate place for mounting, check the composition and condition of the wall and ensure good access to the unit. Maintain the following minimum clearances around the unit. 50 cm between inverters mounted side by side, 70 cm between inverters mounted above each other, 50 cm to cabinets, shelves, ceilings, or similar. When arranging the inverter, please also ensure that the inverter displays will be clearly visible afterwards. The heat sink of the inverter can reach a temperature of up to 80 degrees Celsius or 176 degrees Fahrenheit. Please only mount the inverters on walls that are made of heat-resistant material and ensure unobstructed air circulation around the housing and through the heat sink at the rear side of the unit. Mounting. Using the spirit level, draw a horizontal line at eye level. Align the wall brackets with it and mark the drilling holes. Drill the holes, countersink the accompanying anchor bolts and mount the wall bracket. If necessary, depending on the composition and condition of the wall, use a different installation kit. Mount the inverter into the wall bracket. Electrical connection. The inverter connection is established via PCB terminals in the connection area. For access to the area, please unscrew the four Torx screws on the front side of the blue connection cover. Detach the earthing terminal end from the earthing point of the housing and take down the connection cover plate. Please make sure to only use five core cables with sufficiently large cross sections. This prevents excessive line impedance between the mains distribution board and the inverter. If the voltage at the grid terminals exceeds the line voltage limit, the inverter will be switched off due to grid overvoltage. First of all, the inverter cable is connected. Unlock the cable fittings and insert the cables through the terminal box into the connection area. Connect the cores according to the labeling on the PCB terminal and make sure that all leads are connected properly and firmly. Then tighten the cable seal of the cable fitting. Afterwards, the DC cables of the PV generator are connected. Before connecting, always check that the integrated DC disconnector is switched to the off position. Guide the DC cables through the cable fittings in the connection area. Attach the cable ends onto the DC connectors. Please pay attention to the markings PV plus and PV minus check that the cables are connected properly and firmly. Several manufacturers prescribe the earthing of the PV generator. Please contact your photovoltaic module manufacturer for further information on how to identify the pole to be earthed. The required earthing strap is provided with the device. The required safety fuse is already installed. Define the earthing of plus and minus poles. Unlock the fittings of the earthing terminals and plug the full strap into the plus or minus earthing terminals. Secure the fittings of the earthing terminals to complete the earthing of the PV generator. 
After starting up, please activate ground fault detection in the settings options of the menu. The inverter features several communication interfaces. You can find them on the connection board in the inverter's connection area. Please follow the instructions in the manual and the information on the necessary software settings. Startup. Now the inverter is mechanically and electrically installed. You can only put the inverter into operation under daylight conditions when the solar generator is energized by following the next few steps. Put the connecting cover onto the connection area of the inverter and affix it with the four torque screws. Connect the mains voltage to the external fuse elements as well as the solar generator through the DC disconnectors. Three LEDs on the left side of the display indicate the current status of the inverter. The upper LED flashes when the inverter is operating. The middle LED flashes as soon as the inverter is feeding in. The lower LED only flashes in the event of an operational malfunction. The inverter is operated via six buttons on the right side of the display. Switching on the inverter for the first time, the setup wizard is displayed. It will guide you through all necessary settings before the initial startup. In order to choose a setting, just navigate to the desired menu item by pressing the up or down arrow. To select the desired menu point, press the Enter button. The arrow on the right takes you to a further submenu. Press the Escape button to go back. Please confirm your settings with the Enter button. Congratulations! You have completed the initial configuration and your inverter can now be put into operation. You will find extra explanatory material in the inverter's comprehensive operational instruction guide.